Hi, my name is Annie. I am the autoimmune dietitian and welcome to my YouTube channel where I cover all things related to nutrition and autoimmune disease. Um, so today I am talking about gut health and the specific nutrients important for gut health and to improve your gut. So what we truly, what we eat can truly impact our gut. Specific nutrients can help heal our intestinal lining, restore a dysbiosis of our gut microbiome, and feed those incredible bacterial colonies so they can produce metabolites to support our immune system and reduce inflammation. So living with either dysbiosis or a damaged or leaky gut can unfortunately lead to a number of health issues, including autoimmune diseases. So today I'm giving you my top nutrients to restore balance and heal your gut. So before I jump in, I just need to attach a disclaimer to this video. That the information in today's talk is not a substitute for the diagnosis, treatment, or care of disease by a medical provider. This is for informational purposes only, so please consult your qualified health professional for any changes to your medical care. Okay, so I'm kicking off the discussion with fiber. Fiber is my top nutrient that I always encourage my clients to start eating when they embark on a gut healing journey. This nutrient is actually a carbohydrate that your body cannot digest. While this may seem like it's not really useful, it is one of the most important nutrients for gut health and overall health. So in terms of gut health, fiber is actually a perfect food source for your gut microbiome. The bacteria living in your colon feed on indigestible fibers, and in turn, they produce something called short-chain fatty acids. Short-chain fatty acids play a very important role in regulating our immune system and suppressing inflammation. So one of the, these really important short-chain fatty acids is butyrate. And if you are following me on Instagram, I have an entire discussion on short-chain fatty acids and butyrate in my Instagram live video feed from uh, June 11th, 2021. So check that out. Fiber also slows down the digestion of sugars because it essentially gets in the way of your digestive enzymes, causing them to work less efficiently. So because it's not absorbed, it doesn't spike your blood sugar like your typical carbohydrates do. So the best sources of fiber comes from fruits and vegetables, legumes, nuts, and seeds. Uh, the daily recommended amount of fiber for women is 25 grams, and for men, it's, six, it's 38 grams. Um, this may seem like a lot, but it's totally doable. So if you estimate that around one serving of a fruit or vegetable is around three to five grams of fiber, having two servings of fruit and vegetables or beans even at every meal will get you close to that 20 to 30 grams that you need. Other boosters you can use include um, throwing green banana flour into soups or smoothies or grinding up flax or chia seeds and adding those to salads or soups or smoothies as well. Um, just keep in mind that anytime you start to increase your fiber, your water intake has to incre increase proportionally to avoid constipation. The second nutrient is collagen. Collagen is a main structural protein and it's rich in glycine, which is an amino acid that helps to stop gut inflammation and supports a balanced mi gut microbiome. It also contains glutamine and proline, which are um, two important nutrients as well. Uh, glutamine also helps promote balance in the gut microbiome and helps control inflammation. And proline works to reseal the gut lining to stop any leakage from happening. So the best sources of collagen are bone broth, um, animal meats, fish, and eggs. You can also purchase it as a supplement and mix into smoothies, soups, or other beverages. So the, the third nutrient is omega-3 fatty acids. I love omega-3 fatty acids, and I've written about them extensively on my blog. If you go to annierubin.com, you'll find that. Um, I've also spoken about them quite a bit on my Instagram live feed as well. Um, these are fatty acids that your body cannot make on its own, so that's actually why they're called essential fatty acids because they are essential to your, to your diet. Um, Omega-3s are known for their ability to reduce inflammation, but they also can improve intestinal permeability and support the balance in the gut microbiome. So the best sources of omega-3s are found in your SMASH fish. SMASH stands for salmon, mackerel, anchovies, sardines, and herring. You can also find omega-3s in chia and flax seeds and in walnuts. 
The last nutrient I'm going to talk about is slippery elm. So while you cannot get slippery elm from food, it is a powerful herbal supplement that has been used for centuries to enhance wound healing and digestion. It has been shown to protect the mucosal barrier and promote a healthy and balanced uh, microbiome as well. So if you're looking for a high quality slippery, slippery elm supplement, you can check out my full script dispensary for my favorites at a 10% discount. So just to recap, today we focused on important nutrients to heal the gut and promote balance in your gut microbiome. So these nutrients again are fiber, collagen, omega-3 fatty acids, and slippery elm. Um, if you need additional support managing your, gut, managing your gut issues or your autoimmune disease, please contact me for a free discovery call or just to chat about your goals and see how we can work together. So thank you for watching I, my YouTube video on important nutrients for gut health. Um, if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button so you can follow me. I post videos about every week or so on a different topic. I also do Instagram Lives. Um, right now they're every Monday at 3 p.m. Pacific time. Um, again, on another interesting topic related to diet and lifestyle and nutrition and autoimmune disease and inflammation. So I kind of cover the gamut. Um, but thank you for joining me and join me next time for another great video. Thanks.